choke, no joke, chiggy choke, no joke. Choke, no joke, chiggy choke, no joke. You know what it is. We here now. Yeah. So, first and foremost, I want to say happy Thanksgiving to everybody out there. You know, I hope you with your family, you know, having a good time, eating, relaxing, you know. Thanksgiving things. Some of y'all right now might be in the in the kitchen cooking, you know. <laughs> Oh, I just missed the call here. So, first things first, right? Yesterday I did the, uh, what I want to call the N-word panel, right? On this N-word panel that I did, It was more for different people to come up and you know express how they felt about the N word, right? So I tried to get as much people up there as possible, but you know that is a very touchy situation that everybody don't want to talk about, right? So, I was successful in getting a Latina up there. Shout out to Spanish Harlem. Uh, I was successful on getting a black man up there. Uh, shout out to Badlands. And I was successful, very successful, and I'm very, uh, happy to have got an Australian brother that's outside of the country and outside of the culture to view us having this dialogue with one another about the N-word, right? So, more recently, I had uh, on my Instagram, I had posted a clip from this movie called Bamboozle uh, by Spike Lee, right? And in this clip, um, there are people that identify as being black, I guess, but being that the word uh, nigga is a popular term, everybody wants to be a nigga. You dig? Right? So that's where I'm confused at. Somewhat confused. I, I do understand that, you know, uh, nigga is a popular thing. And being nigga means being cool. You know, some of y'all say it's a term in the, of endearment and, and we took the power of the negativity out of it and we made it a positive thing. Yeah, I get all that. I get all that, right? Now, When I was younger, and you know, before in, uh, 
NWA ever came in and made nigger a popular thing, N nigger was not a word that was flying around as a, a term of endearment. And I'm not going to go all the way back into that. You know what I'm saying? Because people say, oh, slavery ended in uh, four, three, 400 years ago. No. It's like, you know, it's some of our great grandparents were slaves. It ain't no damn 400 years ago. You know, our grand, great grandparents wouldn't even be 400 years old at this point. You know what I'm saying? Um, the reason people think that I'm targeting like Fat Joe or I'm hating on Fat Joe because a lot of people feel Fat Joe and Fat Joe himself included feels that he has the right to use the word nigga because he's a nigga, right? So I just want first of all, let me say something. This is not no attack on no Latinos, Latinas, Spanish people at all, right? This is about the word nigga and the use of the word nigga. Fat Joe just happens to be somebody that is outside of African American or Afro American or Negro, you know what I'm saying? Like, I love the way that y'all deep dig, dig deep into finding the heritage of Latinos to prove that they black just to pass on being a, being a nigga, right? I get that. Like, y'all are doing some deep social studies, history searching, just so a Latino person could qualify as black enough to call themselves a nigga. This is what y'all doing, right? <coughs> <coughs> It's like a spoof. It's like, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> it's like a satire, right? <sighs> what I want y'all to do is, <clears throat> I want y'all when this when this is over. Because it'll make better sense once it's over, after I touch all the points. But I, I, I don't want to forget to remind y'all to do it. Uh, what I want y'all to do is watch Fat Joe's interview on Math Hoffa. Okay? When you get a chance, and not the whole interview, just the part when he talks about fighting Roy Jones. And I want you to see, I want you to see how many times he used the word nigga in that interview, right? And then I want you to, uh, Once you, if you lose count, because you probably lose count as how many times he used the word nigga, right? But I want you to uh, see how many times he used the word nigga. I want you to look at the context that Fat Joe used the word nigga. And then I want you to, when you do that, I want you to tell me, when he's using it as a term of endearment and when it can be taken in a, as a racial slur, right? Because he's talking about he had a beef with Roy Jones, right? So 
So, I want to, like, listen to how Tom, how many times he used the word nigga. Now, they're, they're, I'm, I'm going to start talking directly to Fat Joe, right? You know what I'm saying? First of all, Fat Joe, this is not a, an attack on you, right? But in hip hop, and 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 and, and real, real street, real street talk, we supposed to pull each other coat, right? We supposed to when somebody is doing some, and and it, it could be a detriment detriment to a bigger picture, the whole community, or to an individual, or to yourself, right? We supposed to pull, pull up and pull each other coat, right? Now, it may look like I'm singling you out when there's a whole bunch of Spanish people that use the word nigga, right? The only reason I'm telling you, Fat Joe, personally, this is directly to you, Fat Joe, I don't care who else got anything else to say. I'm talking to you right now. The reason, the first reason that when, it, when addressing this, I say your name is because one, there are people in hip hop that you know personally. You know, some of these people you might even d done songs with, you know them very well, right? But Maybe when I see you in person, I'll tell you who these people are. I'm not going to put it on blast because if they ain't have the heart to come out and say it, you know what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm not going to publicly say it. But I will tell you personally, you know what I'm saying? So you don't think that this is just a direct attack from me and, uh, and I'm just on some hating, hating ish. You know what I'm saying? The whole sloppy Joe White Castle thing that had that was on the strip of you saying yo, uh, yo these dudes on YouTube used to be Rockefeller dudes. These dudes is bums. This that. That's why you got spanked on that. That that was that. This whole nigga thing ain't got nothing to do with none of that. This is once again my coat being pulled by older heads in hip hop that's older than me that's older than you, being uncomfortable the way you were throwing the word nigga around on Math Hoffa's show specifically because that's where the reference came from. So when I watch it, I can understand where they're coming from watching it, right? I'm going to use your, the, the Roy Jones one in particular. You said you had a problem with Roy Jones or Roy Jones had a problem with you from the line and lean back where, you know, even Roy Jones was forced to lean back. You said he, he was tight about it. He came to see you to address it. Blah, 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 blah. Right? But now for you, I, I would love for you, Fat Joe, yourself to go and watch the interview yourself. Right? And Take, take out that you grew up in the hood, right? Act like you are a Cuban from Cuba that never been to America and wasn't a part of hip hop culture. And I know this sounds ridiculous, right? But I had a guy on the show last night from Australia and that came on the live panel and we all having this talk, and, the, and he said, he's 50-something years old, he said he has never heard the word nigga in his whole life that much in that one show that I did yesterday, and that was probably only 30 minutes of us being live. He heard nigga more than in that 30 minutes that he ever heard in his entire 50 years of living in Australia, right? And he's a DJ in hip hop for 35 years, right? So, and, and when I'm saying I'm not talking in music, I'm just talking 
verbal wise, right? So when you when you go back, watch your interview and take yourself out of being a hip hop man, right? A person that grew up in around black people, this, that, and other, right? And watch your interview and see how many times you use the word nigga, right? And then you say, yo, I was traveling with Fucking asshole. No, it's small. It, empty ass, like, nigga, you're not searching for your car. You're just being an asshole because you seen me filming. Finger, buddy. All right. Um, so, getting back to it. Uh, Fat Joe, now listen, in the interview, you, you talk about traveling. Yo, I'm traveling with 50 niggas. I know what you mean, but take yourself out of being in hip hop and watching this on a broader scale from several countries away. Are you saying you was with 50 black dudes? Or 50 Spanish dudes. Because you said you was with 50 niggas. Yo, I had 50 niggas with me. You're, and you're not a black man. Do you, do you understand what I'm saying? It looks like satire, bro. And I'm only saying this now because I'm mature. I'm older. 20, 30 years ago, I, I, I probably wouldn't even feel this way. Right? But I'm looking at it, it's like, damn, I know what he means because I'm from where he's from. He's from where I'm from. But you're not African-American. You're not a Negro. You were not a slave. Your, your parents were not, your grandparents, great-grandparents were not slaves that I know of. Maybe they were in Cuba or whatever, but they weren't African-American or Afro-American or Negroes. They were not Negro slaves in America where the word nigga was the, the, uh, made up in a derogatory way towards black people. I know people say nigga means king, this, this, that, and the other. We flipped it all, all the way to make it how many, how positive the hell we want to make it positive. But when the KKK was calling us niggas and people was hanging on trees and getting lynched, those type niggas, are the ones that we are talking about. I'm not saying you're not a GA, right? And, 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 sh and to all my Spanish people, like I told y'all, Erica Mena, she used the word around me forever. She, she feels she's just as black as, or has the right to say the word nigga because she comes from a era, she comes from a neighborhood, right? Where it is, it don't, it's not offensive, right? But now that we, I'm older and we on the broader scale, I don't want me and her traveling somewhere and she niggering me to death around business people or other cultures because then it makes them feel like it's okay for them to do it. Cause they say, oh, she's not black. You let her call you a nigga. Fat Joe's not black, but y'all let him call y'all a nigga. So, where my my I, what I tried to do was create an awareness in a way that people would be like, "Yo, 
Ah, right, yeah, Choke is right, man. You know, Fat Joe shouldn't be saying the word nigga. He not black. But y'all moving the goalposts to find a way to say that y'all black to justify to using the word nigga when I'm not even a fucking nigga. Us black people, we not niggas. My Latinos, y'all not niggas. Ain't none of us niggas. That's what, that's my point. Ain't none of us niggas. And people are sitting here trying to justify a way of being black so they can identify with being a word that none of us should be trying to identify with. This, I ain't got no problem with no Puerto Ricans, or Dominicans, or nothing. I love them just like, as much as I love black people. Mo, you, if you look at my history, a lot of my girlfriends were Puerto Ricans or Panamanian or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I didn't only date black women. I only made babies with black women. But dating, I dated everybody. Asian, whatever. You know what I'm saying? I dated German, Asian, girls from Paris, Canada. <laughs> like, oh my God. Let me not even sound like a hoe over here right now. Um, but I'm just saying, I've dated women all around the world. Everybody around the world is not acceptive of the word nigga. So, Fat Joe, my thing to you is, bro, I see what they setting you up for, right? So the reason why I'm using your name is because you are about to be the spokesperson for Latinos abroad. Not just here, abroad. They setting you up for it. Brother, I see the moves that you making, I'm gonna say, right? I see the moves that you making, I watch you. But my eyes watching you is different from other people's eyes watching you. I know why you elevating. Do what you do, bro. Right? But I see.